Hey everybody, we're here on Active Cell Protection Extra today at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale. Had some friends asking me about, John, it's tough to find ammo, man. We can't find anything at all. And uh, my friend Jonathan Bloom from Refiner's Firearms asked me about T-Shot. And this is a steel shot that we see a lot of folks use in terms of bird hunting. You can see this has a couple of mallards on it uh, and, you know, again, a goose on, on here. And is this a viable home defense round if I can't find good buckshot? So let's pattern it a little bit, see how it does. Today's video is brought to us thanks to the generosity of LuckyGunner.com. Check them out for all your ammunition needs. So first of all, a couple of details here. Uh, number one, you can see on the back, this is steel shot, right? So it's not lead shot. It doesn't have the density that lead does, so it's not gonna fly as far and not gonna give us quite as much pop. But second thing here, what we notice, um, if I saw, I saw on this box here, we see this, this is uh, a three inch, it's the big stuff, Magnum, uh, one and a quarter ounces of this tee shot and I know I saw it on here, muzzle velocity of 1450 feet per second. So this is uh, the Mangalum. This is Magnum stuff right here. It is gonna uh, hit with a bit of a wallop. So let's go up to 10 yards and we'll pattern a little bit. Oh, by the way, sizes. Tee shot is, um, the shot is 0 0.20 inches. Number four buck shot on the other hand is 0.24 inches and it goes up from there. So this stuff is not as small as most bird shot but it's not as big as the smallest buckshot, so it's kind of in the middle ground. I have a feeling we're gonna get a pretty wide pattern, even at 10 yards and even out of a Beretta barrel, but let's go try. Okay, Magnum Low, now we're just at 10 yards here, and I'm gonna aim for the A, and I wanna see what kind of pattern. Now, when we do these kinds of patterns, we generally do two shots, because we don't want just the first shot to be an anomaly. Sometimes you get a flyer or something like that. So we wanna see what's going on here. I'm gonna tell you, with a full velocity Magnum Load, you better have your push-pull in order. All right, let's see what we got here. Woo! My gracious, I do not want to do that all day, every day. Let's go down and take a look. Okay, so at 10 yards, what do we have here? Do we have a gun that I am comfortable with in terms of the pattern? Yeah, I mean, uh, that tee shot here, we probably got an extreme spread of about 12 or 13 inches here, which is a lot, but it's still on the target. So at 10 yards, we're still what we'd call in the B zone. So certainly not inside the wad, but certainly all on the target. Now, of course, this is a bird shot load. It's kind of designed to do this, right? They want it to open up a little bit. Now, of course, if I have somebody that's moving that's not this wide, I don't have a full frontal presentation. Say I had a guy that's to the side, I start having some pellets in the deltas here that are missing, and I'm not a huge fan of that. But for right now, at 10 yards, it is at least reasonable. All right, fresh target. Let's try it with the 870 with a bang comp barrel. Uh, again, full power load here. You really got to work your push pull, but let's try it with a bang comp and see if we get a tighter pattern out of it. All right, let's see what we got here. <sighs> Woo! My sakes in heaven, that is not fun to do a lot of. Come on, let's go take a look. Ah! Here we do see a Vang barrel doing its vangadiness. <clears throat> I like this pattern an awful lot better, in point of fact. Um, again, these are both wads, so we don't worry about those. But as opposed to the other one, which we had a pattern with stuff all the way out to the D, here we have a much tighter pattern. So again, does the Vang barrel make a difference? Yes, it do. Um, and it does do that. So in fact, I'm going to actually step this back and take a couple shots. We'll do them on this target as well, um, because we know we have a couple, just a couple pellets in the Charlie here. Um, let's take a couple shots at 15 yards and see how far our pattern opens up if we have a Vang barrel. Okay, 15 yards now. Let's see how we do at 15. Um, you know, I've been surprised by a Vang comp barrel before. It might still be on the target. So that might be worth it a little bit more at this distance. Let's take a look. Okay, good. We got that. Let's see it. I want to make sure the gun's hitting where I want. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Whew, that's enough of those today. Let's go take a look. 15 yards, man. We're still doing really well. Now, I think you can see my bias just a little bit right here as a left-handed shooter. Uh, we're starting to get, there's a delta pattern. There's another delta. So, so really the Van Comp barrel kept this guy still on the target at 15 yards. Uh, quite frankly, I'm not going to shoot it any farther than that today because I uh, think kicks like a mule. So 
If I couldn't find any buckshot at all in this day and age, would I use something like T-Shot? Oh man, we still got to shoot it in the jello and see what kind of penetration we get and those kinds of things. So I, I mean, I think somebody with this size of shot, is it going to be mean to them? Well, at close distances, I mean, I think at five, seven yards, I, I mean, it's better than bird shot for sure. Um, at, at out, you know, into home defense distances, 10 yards and beyond, um, it, it'll pattern okay. And so that's not a bad thing for center mass hits. Certainly even these C zone hits, if I had to take a headshot at 10 yards, I wouldn't be willing to do that with this kind of shot. But, uh, you know, at, at the ability to say, I can't find any other stuff and I need to be able to load my home defense shotgun. I mean, it's certainly better than any bird shot you're going to find.